probably like, Alaska, why do you look different right now? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be recreating the Royal High apartment in Bloxburg. This is something that I've wanted to do for months now, but because of all the new updates that have come to Bloxburg, I can finally make my vision come to life. So as you can see, I'm in the Royal apartment now. Here's the massive elevator that leads into the apartment. And oh my gosh, look at this. Alaska Violet's place. Guys, this is giving me deja vu. I haven't played this since I was like 10. Like what? This looks so different. Okay, so over here, I'm pretty sure this is a closet. Yeah, this is going to be a closet. And if we go back here, I'm pretty sure this leads to the bathroom. So I'm not sure what this room is here. It just has like a lot of storage space. And then back here is the bathroom. And oh my gosh, this is huge. I forgot how massive this is. Also, I forgot that we can fly. Look at me. Okay, so we got two vanity tables over there. We have a makeup desk here and then a toilet. Does that toilet have a skylight? Oh my gosh. And then over here is the massive bathtub. Like who wouldn't want to have this bathtub in their house? So I'm super excited to recreate that. Okay. And then coming downstairs, we have this very elegant staircase. I forgot how insane this view is. So out here, we have like a little balcony area as you can see very nice and cozy okay so we have like the lounge room area over here and then back here it's like the kitchen i'm pretty sure it has a pantry as well this room is the pantry and then back here is my favorite bit so we have like a little cute and cozy window nook and then of course the iconic bedroom we all know and love so what i've done is taken a bunch of photos all around the apartment so i'll have a billion photos to look through so i can recreate it as accurately as possible so let's go head over over to Bloxburg. Okay, so as you can see, a few days ago, I really studied the room and I kind of got like an outline of the whole apartment. So now we can start decorating. Okay, so I guess the first thing we can do is the elevator, which is here. As you can see, this is what the elevator looks like. Okay, I think I'm gonna buy this modern elevator, which is $33,000. Okay, so we have to make this the same pattern as it is in the photo. I'm pretty sure that's kind of similar. Okay, I think that's as accurate as possible. Also have like a stool in the elevator. Wait, can we even place stuff in the elevator <gasps> we can't no actually you know what i can always cheat i can put this up here so when the elevator arrives on the second floor it'll still be in here okay and for the walls i'm pretty sure the walls are actually made out of brick and they also have like plastic wall trims at the bottom so that's what we can do okay i'm pretty sure that is accurate and then for the floor i'm pretty sure it's just marble okay now over here is where we're gonna add our like alaska violets place so as you can see in this photo we have like a little bench here i'm not sure if this is a mirror or a photo i'm just gonna put like a photo there Okay, there we go. We have our little bench. And of course, we can't forget our little photo frame that says like Alaska Violet's place. And they also have some like roses here. So I'm just going to do something like that and then put vases in the middle. Vases, vases, who knows? And what you can do, if you have the advanced placement, you can actually make, oh my gosh, that is way too big. So you can resize the vases and then you can put them inside the rose. And I mean, look at that. And then finally, for a finishing touch, we can add this little painting up the top here. Now over on this wall, as you can see, if I zoom in they have like these two purple lights and like a little storage unit there's these little like glowing landscape orbs and then we could just paint these purple okay there we go i think that's pretty accurate so now we can move on to this section over here okay now over here is going to be where the closet is so they've got like two modern doors so we can use these like modern reveal doors oh my gosh you guys do not understand i wanted to recreate this apartment in Bloxburg for over like a year i remember i tried doing it last year and i literally i could not for the life of me i gave up also we can't forget some rails here actually i feel like these rails aren't fancy enough okay we're going to use this stone railing because i feel like that looks more elegant and we're also going to add them on the staircase as well oh my gosh the fact that this is already looking like the apartment is crazy okay so we'll do the back of the closet first so as you can see in the photo there's not really much going on in the closet there's just like a few jackets hanging up and paint buckets on the floor i don't know why there's paint buckets on the floor um but i guess we'll add them because this is an accurate representation there you go random them paint buckets on the floor and as you can see there's a few coats hanging up so what we can do instead is add these like hanging towels that kind of look like coats okay i think that's the closet done um there's really not much going on okay so moving on to this room over here so this is actually going to lead into this little storage unit here and then to the bathroom the walls here are actually a different texture than the rest of the house now instead of a door i'm actually going to add a door frame and there's also like two purple lamps here actually they look like torches does Bloxburg have torches these torches actually look 
kind of magical so it kind of goes with the vibe of royal high okay i think this little wall is done so now we can move into the storage room there's nothing really fancy going on there's just like a few counters here all the walls are like a different texture as well that actually looks really fancy maybe we can use that that's kind of similar for the counters i think we can use these modern ones this one on the end isn't actually a counter as you can see it's got like a few storage boxes at the bottom and then on top of this counter as you can see in the photo they have just a few jars over here and then on this corner they just have a few stacked towels okay there we go perfect and then of course we can't forget the storage unit up here okay i just put a few of these plain rectangular shelves like this and then i'm going to copy these wooden storage cubes and then put them inside because as you can see in the photo they have a bunch of like purple storage cubes okay there we go i'd say that's pretty accurate to the photo and it's the same on this side over here so literally all i'm going to do is just copy this and then put it on this wall as well okay so the closet is done so now we can work on the bathroom the floor is actually a different texture so it's kind of like this gray wood texture and then over here is where the elevated bathtub is going to go so how i'm going to make this elevated is actually by adding like a roof underneath the floor and just hope for the best <laughs> okay it's kind of like that and then if i lift that up oh my gosh it's actually working okay yeah so kind of like that and then obviously we just need like a few steps to walk up into the bath so we can just use basic shapes for this oh my gosh wait it actually works and now we just have to paint it marble and then for the bath i don't know if i should add like a bathtub or a spa you know what i think i'm gonna buy a spa okay there we go it's a jacuzzi so we can add the jacuzzi wait the, it actually sinks into the bath that's amazing oh my god wait you know what we can do okay i just bought a jacuzzi you can still see the marble inside so what i'm gonna do to make this more accurate put like a little transparent cube like this and then paint it the same color as like water there we go we have a little jacuzzi and now for the rest so we obviously cannot forget the windows as you know royal high has massive windows that look out okay so as you can see the windows are done so now we have to do the walls and it kind of just has this like wood grain texture okay so to make this bathtub look more realistic i'm actually going to put like a fog machine underneath like that so as you can see it makes the bathtub look like more realistic and as you can see in the photo there's more pendants above the bathtub that are kind of just hanging there and then there's a few like beauty products on the bathtub so we can just put these like round jars like this okay then finally we just need a little carpet here so the vanity tables are on this wall so we can just add these like pre-built industrial sinks and these pendants are purple i don't know how that's gonna look though okay i think that part of the bathroom is done so now we can do the little vanity table which is over here and as you can see there's a lot going on on the vanity table see something like that's kind of cute now to fill this up okay so there's a few nail polish bottles here and then for the chair that chair actually looks really comfy so we can just put a fluent stool like this and then you get these large round rods and you kind of put them above the stool and there you go you have your own custom stool and it looks like they have like a round mirror like this okay there we go i think that is the vanity table all done so now we can do the toilet as you know they have a skylight on the floor which is really weird so if we go into the roof there's actually this flat glass roof so i'll just add that at the bottom okay so the toilet just has these like weird torches in them they also have like purple toilet paper okay there we go this looks like a sacrifice is about to happen so now we can move on to downstairs which is kind of fun okay so on this wall here they kind of have like a massive city painting so we can just add like a massive painting like that the first room we can work on is the kitchen and the living room so as you can see i quickly just added some windows around the apartment so we can get like a layout of the place okay so first room i want to work on is the kitchen and as you can see all the counters are like purple all right so we can use these elegant counters because they kind of look nice okay so this kitchen kind of extends around like this and then and then it opens up to the pantry over here okay i think that's the color of the counters pretty wacky and then we just need some cabinets up the top and these kind of just extend all the way around okay so the oven can go there actually no in the photo the oven's actually on the countertop so they kind of got the sink over there it has like a really bright purple fridge <laughs> and then over here is where the island bench is so for this we can just use these modern countertops now on the island bench they also have like a stove top and if we zoom in you can also see some like candles on the bench also if you're wondering how accurate i'm making this i'm literally like zooming in on every single item in the kitchen and i'm like okay tick 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 they have like the oven on top of the counter which i haven't seen someone do that before then we can add these three chandeliers that hang over the island bench so i'm pretty sure blocksburg has 
similar chandeliers to that photo. Yeah, they do. They kind of have like these geometric chandeliers. Three on this counter. So one there, one there, and then one there. Okay, and then finally they have like purple stores underneath the counter. Okay, there we go. I think the kitchen is done. So now we can move on to the pantry, which is over here. So we can do like a sliding door like this. And then on the inside of the pantry, they kind of just have like four rows of shelves. And then they also have like more storage space on this side of the wall. Okay, they just have like a bunch of random stuff in here. So I think I'm going to do my own thing. So we can just have some fruit bowls and maybe some groceries. So we can add some Roros over here. This is the most unorganized shelf you will ever see. Okay, there we go. I don't want to overdo it for the pantry. So now we can do the living room. It's like a massive carpet in the middle. Okay, I already know what lounge I'm going to use. I'm going to use these wicker sectional lounges and then literally just like copy the photo. Okay, they also have like an Odom in here and like a fireplace in the middle. It's like a nice fireplace that we can add. Or we can add this one and then just add a few blankets and pillows. Okay, so all the blankets and the pillows on the lounge are all like ink or purple. Okay, I think that is the lounge all done and there's also like a light in the corner here and as you can see it's like a really big elegant light. I don't know how I'm gonna add that. Well maybe if I put like an angled chandelier here. As you can see it's floating so to fix this we can just put like a round pillar in the middle. Okay and the light's also purple like that. Also if you guys haven't noticed the view I built a few buildings outside just like to give it that illusion of like a high-rise apartment. Okay I think the lounge room is all done so now we can work on the balcony which is over here. Actually before I work on the balcony I actually need a door that goes out to the balcony. I mean duh. So we're gonna add two massive sleek pivoting glass doors. So there's like two seating areas here and then there's a fireplace in the middle. So we can add like a simple sofa there and then one over here. Okay there we go that's kind of what the outside looks like. There's also a few pillows and blankets so I'll just quickly add them. Make it nice and cozy. I remember so vividly playing this game and I was just obsessed with this balcony. And they also have like these heart shaped pillows but we don't have them so instead I think I might add like flower shaped pillows instead. Okay there we go the little balcony area is done so now we can work on the fun bit which is the bedroom. So as you can see I kind of done like custom flooring for the bedroom. So the bedroom also has this little nook over here. Okay so what we can do to actually make this so you can sit on it. One bed there and then add a roof on top of this bed. Oh my gosh it works. You can still see the outline of the pillow but it's okay it worked. So we can kind of make this like one big blanket and then back here we kind of have like a few items. So we got like some candles, a little teacup. Okay there we go. The little nook is done and oh my gosh look how cozy that looks. Are you kidding me? So the first bit of the bedroom is like this little fireplace in this corner here. Okay so what we're gonna do to make this look really nice is add like three fireplaces like this and then add like a little roof. Okay there's a little fireplace nook so now we can go into the bedroom. So I can either make my own bed like this but you know I feel like that's not elegant enough so I'm gonna make my own bed. Why? Because I'm the most extra person you will ever meet. Also I feel like all the beds in Bloxburg aren't high enough. They're too like on the floor. As you can see the Duna cover in Royal High is like really puffy so what I'm gonna do to like give this illusion is by adding pillows all around the bed and hopefully it'll work. Okay all the pillows are finished. I think it kind of worked. So next thing we can do is the bedside tables. Okay so bedside table can go there. It's kind of like a weird looking light. Maybe we can do like a lava lamp instead and then they also have like a little candle next to the light. Okay now for the fun bit which is like the back of the bed. A full wide painting like this. Then we can use structural beams to outline the bed frame and then on top of this black frame is pink LED lights and there's also LED lights on the wall as well. Yeah we can do something like that. Okay I think that is this side of the room done so now we can do like the little desk in the corner here. So as you can see this is what the desk looks like so we'll have to find something similar. Actually you know what I feel like this fancy desk is kind of similar and then on top they just have a little computer, little candle there. I don't know what that is I'm pretty sure it's an Alexa. So you know what we'll just make our own Alexa. Okay there we go it kind of looks like a sandwich but it's fine. Finally we just need a little stool. Did you guys know that the Royal High apartment was based off a real life apartment? This is the real life apartment. Okay the apartment's done and the total house value has come to 227,000 which is so much money. <laughs> so as you can see this is the iconic elevator that leads into the apartment and guys look it literally says Alaska Violet's place and I think this is meant to be like a window. Oh my gosh this is so weird it literally feels like I'm in Royal High. And then over here we have the closet. Obviously not much going on in here just a few towels but if we lead over here this is kind of like the storage unit that leads into the bathroom and you can actually open and close this to have like a little bit more privacy which is kind of cool. So here's what my Bloxburg version looks like and here's 
is how the royal high version looks like. And then coming through here, this is the iconic bathtub and I honestly love the way this turned out. This literally just looks like I'm in royal high right now. So over here we just have a few sinks and then we have our iconic makeup desk. Here's how the bathroom looks like in Bloxburg and here's how it looks like in royal high. Here is the creepy toilet with the weird sky roof. Okay, let's go downstairs and the first room we come across is the balcony outside. I think I did a pretty good job on the balcony. I would say it's kind of accurate. So this is what the balcony looks like in Bloxburg and this is what it looks like in Royal High. And then over here we have the living area. And then over here we have the purple crazy kitchen. And then if we make our way over here we have the pantry. So the pantry is kind of a mess but um I didn't really know what else to add in there. So here's what the apartment looks like in Bloxburg and here's what it looks like in Royal High. Okay now for my favorite bit which is the bedroom. So underneath the staircase we have our fireplace and then we have our little nook over here. So you can actually like sit down here. It's really cute. I think this is like my favorite bit. Like I mean look at the view as well. So I tried my hardest to make this as accurate as possible. So here's what it looks like in Luxburg and here's what it looks like in Royal High. And then finally we have the bed. Oh my gosh this is just tripping me out. So here's what it looks like in Luxburg and here's what it looks like in Royal High. Okay so the thing with this bed is you can't actually sit in it but I mean it's fun to look at. And then finally we have our little desk over here. So yeah that is the entire Royal High apartment recreated in Luxburg. This was so fun to do. I've wanted to do this for ages now and I know some bits aren't accurate but I did try my hardest. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit subscribe and hit that bell to get notified every time I post a video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!